And number one, nope. Nope, number two. Nope, number three. No, sir. Number four. Nope. And nope. It uh, seems like you can never have enough uh, tool holders for these uh, mini lathes or any other metal lathe for that, that matter. And I had bought the Genwin Quick Change Tool Post, uh, say, a year ago, and it came with four tool holders. That was quickly evident that those, that was not enough. So I bought four after that off eBay, and I received them, and I had to do some adjustments to those because they didn't quite fit. I had to get a dovetail cutter and trim those to get them to work with this tool post. These are the tool holders that came with the Genwin Quick Change Tool Post Kit, and um, they work fine. Now I upgraded these. I put some uh, cap screws in here in place of these little Allen screws, and I did some other things to make them work a little better. But these were the original four, and it was very quickly apparent that that was not going to be enough. So then I bought uh, four more, and uh, these were $3.99 a piece on eBay. And uh, I've added again the uh, cap screws to these uh, and they look to be functionally identical to the ones that originally came uh, with the Genwin kit. However, when I did some detailed measurements I found that the dovetails were off a little bit and these things didn't quite fit in the tool post without uh, doing some work to uh, modify the dovetails on these. I ended up doing a little skim cut on these uh, to get them to fit. And so I thought, boy, that's a terrible quality problem. I'll never order those again. But then, you know, after a while, uh, you know, this is not enough uh, tool posts for daily use. So I ordered four more. These came surprisingly quickly. They came from Hangzhou Shi Zhejiang, China. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce that correctly. Uh, and I just received these recently. They came fairly fast, actually. I think I got them in about 10 days, which is pretty good for stuff coming over from China. So I'm just going to open these up and see if they fit. So let's see what we got here. I feel there's four of them in there. And uh, got me some big scissors. Love these big scissors. And there you go. And uh, there's one of the uh, original ones here. And again, these things look to be identical. Now this one is a, a boring tool. It's a little wider, but um, just looking at the construction and, and just eyeballing the dimensions, they seem fine. So you know from watching the intro that none of the four fits the Jin Wen tool post. They're just a little bit snug. So let's see what's going on here. I don't have a detailed metrological uh, station here, but just using this uh, protractor here, just eyeballing these, these are right around 62 to 63 degrees. All these dovetails are cut a little bit steep uh, for what I would expect here. And they're all just about the same. So these are all obviously cut by the same tool in the same lot. But these measure right around 63 degrees. So <clears throat> the point of these is a little bit narrow, uh, and so there's not enough room for this to go over the top of the tool post itself. So I'm going to have to mill these out. Now I did another video on that. I'm not going to go over that again here. And so even knowing I was going to have to do some modification of these to get them to work. I bought them anyway because it's a lot faster overall than making new ones in my opinion. And, and I'm not so much a tool maker as I am you know just a general maker. I like to make stuff and artwork and that sort of thing. I don't really like making tools that much. So I'll spend a few minutes I'll get these cleaned up and then we'll be in business. But there I feel like there's something I'm missing here you know I appreciate your comments. Now, one of the comments I won't accept is, oh, it's all Chinese junk. Well, you know, I've been buying stuff from them for a long time, and these are really reasonably decent quality parts when you look at them. 
And so there's a deliberate reason why they are the way they are. I don't know what it is exactly, but there's got to be a reason. There's something I'm not understanding about the design of these quick change tool posts. Anyway, I appreciate your insights and comments. I'm going to go mill these now. Something like three to five thousandths is about all you need to take off that root, and uh, that pretty much does it. I've done a half a dozen of these now, and they're all pretty much the same as far as what you got to do. So here's the post here, and I'll just slide it in. That's a nice fit there, and uh, that's that'll fit, but it's just a tiny bit tight. So I'll take another couple thousand off, and then we'll be done with this one. Okay, so. About 25 minutes on the mini mill and uh, they're all functioning and fitting just fine here. So now I've got a mill, but you can also do this uh, just with the jeweler's file. All you're doing is uh, you're going to cut just a couple mils off the root of this dovetail. You can see where it's shiny. It was this black anodized finish, but uh, here's where I, I coped out just uh, about four mils I think is what it took and uh, it opened it up enough uh, to get over this dovetail. So I got four new tool holders, kind of a pain that I had to go through and do that, but that's okay, I got them set up, and uh, I guess I have to say on balance it was worth the effort. So I'm headed over to the hardware store, I'll be replacing these Allen screws with some nice cap screws, and then we'll put some new tools on there, and, and then it'll probably be two or three months and I'll discover I want even more of these. Mr. Jimmy Porter of the Stewart Arts and his maiden voyage of a plasma cutting torch. I am so fanned by EMTs. <laughs> All right, we're ready? Yeah, man. I got the trigger guard off. I got the finger on the trigger. I'm right on the edge now. Go on a little bit further. A little okay, further, like that? That's good, yeah, good. Ready? Go. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He's a pro. <laughs> Feeling confident. Now, I'm going to bring Camera's this back. Rolling. I'm going to bring this rolling. back a little quicker this rolling. time. Jimmy got his day at the plasma cutting machine. Thanks, Jeez. That was awesome. This is the best day I've had in a long time. <laughs>